Hello, 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 hello from San Giovanni Rotondo. I wanted to have a very special place for us to pray the nine-day novena to Padre Pio. And I had chosen the private chapel here in the convento, the friary of Santa Maria della Grazia, where Padre Pio celebrated Mass for two years when he was not allowed to say Mass in public. Uh, this reads, this is the altar that Padre Pio celebrated the Holy Mass for two years. June 11th, 1931 through July 16th, 1933. I feel this is a very fitting place for us to pray a novena to Padre Pio. It is a great honor, a great privilege for me to be here in this little chapel, this private chapel, so very special to Padre Pio. I hope that you can feel through me and through watching that you are here also, you are here in my heart and in my thoughts, that you are here in the place where Padre Pio celebrated Mass, the Holy Mass. You know he was connected with our Lord Jesus Christ during the sacrifice of the Mass. Padre Pio offered himself up as a victim. He was united with Christ in the crucifixion. And here we are in this very, very holy place. Take a moment and realize that these walls as they say, if these walls could only talk. But take a moment and think of the many prayers that Padre Pio offered here, the many times that he lifted the Eucharist up to God, the times that he lifted the blood of Christ in the chalice as he lifted it up to God. It is truly a very special honor for all of us to be here because this was a place that Padre Pio spent hour upon hour in prayer and meditation. And to be able to bring this to you is truly a gift from God and from Padre Pio to allow me to do this. Myself, being here in this chapel, I feel the presence of Padre Pio. Padre Pio is in my heart at this very moment. He is in my heart always. But a very strong, strong feeling that Padre Pio is right here with us. As we pray this novena to Padre Pio, we will remember all your intentions. For those people that maybe have drifted from the church, maybe your family members who have drifted, or how they are living maybe a different life, that we may pray that they come back into the fold, that they may find the truth and the peace again, 
that Christ offers us. There is no better example than looking at the life of Padre Pio. This chapel, what a great example. The humility of Padre Pio, the obedience of Padre Pio. People sometimes were trying to bring Padre Pio down, to destroy him, to destroy his reputation. But Padre Pio obeyed. He obeyed his superior, he obeyed Rome, and never complaining. Very difficult thing to do. You and I both know that. In our daily lives, I know in my own, that there are times that I will question someone or their motives. Not Padre Pio. Padre Pio accepted what his superior said. He accepted what Rome, what the Vatican said. He was obedient to God. He followed the word of the gospel. So, being here in this chapel, let us really embrace this opportunity to ask of Padre Pio to help us, to be within us always, to guide us along the way. He wants to, you know, God loves a sinner. <laughs> Uh, not that we are all sinners, but we are not perfect, are we? And so here, while we are in this very holy place, we can ask for the strength, the courage, the patience, and the perseverance to keep trying. If we fall, okay, let us get up and try again. Well, let us now take into consideration all that is around us as we pray and as we unite ourselves with Padre Pio. Please join me in the Novena to Padre Pio. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come to me as Father and friend, Jesus, and do not leave me alone. Lord, abide with me. I am just a pilgrim, wandering in a world enveloped by darkness. Bestow on me your light and your grace. Lord, abide with me. In this precious moment, embrace me. Let this union between us last forever. Lord, abide with me. Accompany me along life's journey. I need your presence. Without you, I become faint and fall, Lord. Abide with me. Evening is coming and I am racing like a river towards the deep sea of death. Lord, abide with me. Be my strength in sorrow and in happiness whilst I live and until I die within your embrace. Lord, abide with me. the first day of the Novena to St. Pio of Petrocina. O glorious and holy Padre Pio, we are at your feet. Turn your gaze to us. We are devoted to you. We admire your life and follow your teachings and have experienced the power of your intercession. While you lived in this world, multitudes of people arrived every day in San Giovanni Rotondo to recognize and behold your credence, to receive pardon through your word, to 
to hear your teachings and to invoke your intercession. With this same love and conscious of the glorious power of your prayer before God, we are prostrate at your feet. Pray for us. We entrust ourselves to you, certain that you will obtain for us from God the graces of which we are in need. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Please now offer your intentions. that the Lord grants to the world and to the church responsible, faithful leadership. Let us pray. That every family be healthy in body and spirit. Let us pray. For all those who have asked me to remember them and their intentions and their loved ones, for all of you who are watching this novena to St. Pio, for all your intentions, that God may hear us and answer us through the intercession of St. Peter. Let us pray. Padre Peel always interceded through our Blessed Mother. Let us say now the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Grace, pray for us. Saint Peel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us just ask St. Pio to be with us in our lives, to help us and guide us along this very difficult road of life. In today's world, there are many mountains to be climbed, but with the strength and the faith, the trust, in God Almighty, in Our Lady, Our Blessed Mother, and Padre P. and all the saints, we can cross any bridge, no matter how difficult it may seem. We can climb any mountain, no matter how high or rocky it may be, we will reach the summit. Let Padre Pio come into our hearts and help us with our daily needs. Join us tomorrow for day two of the Novena to St. Pio of Petrocina.